while since we've done a video, so I figured we would do um, an interesting one with an IKEA hack. So a lot of you don't know that there is an option for um, to make your trash can kind of motorized. And IKEA has uh, the option as well as from a regular cabinet place. So I wanted to show the difference between the two and then kind of talk about how that works with an actual trash can cabinet and um, how you can retrofit your own cabinet if you wanted to. So um, I'll start with opening up the uh, box that um, is an official Blum hardware box from a cabinet supplier that we would buy from. All right, so um, let's take a look at the one we get from a cabinet vendor. And this is the one from Ikea. You can see the name. This is one from a vendor would use when ordering. So you get a little manual and you're gonna be that happy if you have one of those. You get some templates. We don't usually read the templates. This is kind of for some other system that they're recommending. There's a little base plate here, some fittings and some buttons that you're gonna need for installation, some cable management. The actual hardware itself. So you can see the little motor and the kicker. This is metal, there's some metal here, and this is the motor. This is the power supply with its own cable. <clears throat> this is your power supply with the cable and it has its own cable. So basically the way it works is those pieces get, those wires get flipped together with this little clip and then you run the power supply from a plug. Generally trash cans are by a um, sink which always has power so this is one of the easier uh, accessories to motorize in your kitchen okay next we're going to take a look at the ikea one so here's ikea's box uh, i ordered this online so if you wanted to get it online you can just order it they'll deliver it so here's their manual so there's a couple of different languages Here's kind of what it looks like. You get the power supply, one cable, the little motor base. Um, so let's take a look at the accessories. So these are the little buttons. So the buttons are a little different. And here's the power supply, and here's the little motor. It's all plastic. Plastic. There's a little cover here. This is a little holder for the power supply, so this will go in here like this. And then you can tuck in the cables. Um, and some other little accessories for installation, um, which kind of work again here. And, you put this guy over in here like this and you can do a few things with it if you need to but basically they work the same where you screw this down now a little known fact that people don't know is even though bloom both of them are bloom hardware even though both companies use bloom hardware this is also bloom even though they're both bloom uh, Ikea actually contracts with Blum to make a little bit of a less expensive hardware. And that's why Ikea reaches its price points. So if you're getting Ikea cabinets and you see Blum hinges, you're not really getting the Blum hinges you would get from a custom cabinet guy. You're getting the Ikea version of Blum hinges. And the same thing is true for here. You're getting a Blum trash can, motorized trash can opener. It will work just fine, but you're getting a little bit slightly less of a, a product from Bloom. It's very streamlined. It's just exactly what you need. You don't have any extra wire. You don't have any extra cables or fittings or anything like that. Will this work fine? Yes. Will it be a little bit different to install? You, you kind of have to undo this wire here from here. 
and run the wire and then reconnect it to your to the power but you know very similar so now next uh, we'll show you how to put them on how they work in a trash can and how uh, each one works and gets fitted into an actual cabinet with an actual trash can unit okay so today guys uh, we're going to be installing the hardware into an actual cabinet so you can see a few things so I opened up the bag this is the cable splicing so the way this works is you open and close this and it pinches the black cable these little things are end caps for the cables this is some wire management and these little bumpers work like this when you push them and this guy activates the arm so we'll show you how that works so we're going to start by installing this and then putting the arm in the back of the cabinet and then we'll power it up to show you so this is the kit from um the cabinet wholesaler or the cabinet hardware wholesaler that we buy things from these are the bumpers from ikea so you only get two but they do this basically the same thing there's a little bumper here that pushes in and out and you stick these in so you get four little bumpers with the, the industrial kit and you only get two little bumpers from the IKEA kit. All right, so we got uh, the four of them installed. They basically look like this after it's done. There's a little tab in front for both of them to locate them. And basically what you would do is you would screw all four in according to the instructions. And then now we'll show you how um, they should work with the drawer. Okay, so we've drilled a hole in the side of the cabinet as you would do if it was next to another cabinet. And we put the wires in. There's a little notch there that uh, guides the wire. So there's only one way. You can kind of see that little nub. And then we closed it. Then we powered it in. And then let's see if it works. So now with the drawer box in, the way the buttons work is when you push on the front of it, the little button activates and locates the drawer, which will activate the arm, which we'll show next. So we've installed the arm and you can see how the location of the arm is critical that it's pushed in. When you push on the drawer front, the drawer activates the arm and then it kicks the drawer out and that's kind of how it works so it becomes touchless that way so you can bring it back in you kick the thing and it pushes out so basically this is a setup for a two trash can unit um, this drawer is slightly smaller for demo purposes but you put your trash cans in once everything is closed it goes back in fits in then you come and you push on your front and your trash can will open so it becomes a touchless you can also uh, put a standard handle and use it like a regular trash uh, if you guys would like to order a drawer box and a drawer guide kit and get the hardware separately from ikea We'll be happy to sell you a drawer box and some drawer guides, and you can retrofit your cabinet. If you already have a drawer box, all you need to do is put the hardware in the back of your cabinet and power it up, and you'll have a touch uh, self-opening trash can.